is a character-driven uh, score, and the main character is named Dylan, and he has a character arc throughout the game from the Last earliest part where he's sort of a novice and just sort of realizing that he has some this great mission he's set to do, to becoming a fully accomplished warrior and really becoming heroic. So the music followed the progression of, of the character's development. So the music showed that, showed in a musical sense and supported that change in his growth, in his character. The theme was written in a way that it could both be heroic, it could, it could also work in times of great danger and in essence was sort of a Swiss army knife. I mean, it could be moving and sad at times. There is nothing a civilian like you could do. So I intentionally constructed a theme with harmonies and chord changes that really worked both in a slow, and so you could create a sad moment with that theme, or you could have this you know, incredible, over-the-top, action, complex, uh, you know, intense combat music. So that music was constructed with that potential in mind. It's a combat game, so we really wanted to focus on all of the weapons and making sure the player felt powerful, that you were in danger. So we've got a lot of whiz bys and things like that, a lot of ricochets, just to help put the player in the moment. Some of my favorite sounds of the game are what we call the vocalizations for the responders. And even though they're machines, we wanted to sell personality for the different types since there's so many. And also to convey the personality of the pilot and just getting all those to make a machine actually have a personality and a character to it was the biggest challenge. So getting a little more specific with the Vonzer sounds themselves, like if you're Dylan, he pilots one called the Zephyr, and it's a prototype. So it's definitely got a more sci-fi edge to him. There's definitely some high-tech tones going on. He definitely sounds a little faster, it's a little stronger. Plus, he's got the edge mode with him, and that has quite a unique soundscape that's him plugging into the machine and they're gonna get this very digitized surround sound effect going on with that. With some of the others, there's a character named Hamilton and he drives a heavier Wanzer that's quite bulky. And with that, you're gonna hear slower. It's gonna have a little more grind to it. Then again, it's also got the heavier armor and the heavier artillery to go with that. Lots of rockets, bigger shotguns. Then there's even some of the enemies, like the Frost Fonzer. It's a little smaller, so it's a little quicker, and you're gonna hear that with its sound. It's got a little attitude in its vocalizations um, as they go around you. To talk about or describe the recording process, uh, we recorded in Los Angeles with some of the best musicians in the world. Orchestrally uh, is the first front mission that had an orchestral score and we recorded it at Capitol Studios in Hollywood, it's a great old studio. And we had a big string section and a brass section in a separate uh, part of the studio and uh, I conducted and it was, it was a blast.